everyone, it's Jay. And today I wanna to talk about what I have changed with my 2022 Ford Mustang. Now I did already upload a video like this in October of 2023, and it was called, what have I changed with my Mustang in a year? But the audio was complete trash. I have changed quite a bit of stuff in my Mustang. So without further ado, let's give you a proper updated video. If you happen to like my content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on what you think and let's go. In my previously updated video of what I have I changed with my Mustang, I did make a comment that I got the car in November, but I actually got the car around December of 2022. And as most people know, most new cars that you buy come with a powertrain warranty of 36,000 miles or three years, whichever the first one you hit. So this car has a 36,000 mile warranty from factory. That also leads into me not wanting to modify the car just yet. I don't want to do anything that would avoid the warranty. I'm leaving it bone stock until after around 36,000 miles. So let's get into the mods or basically the rice that I have put on this Mustang because pretty much I have done no performance mods whatsoever, but I have upgraded some of the appearances on the inside of the interior. The first thing that I quote unquote modded was the light fixture or light switch that controls the headlights and your gauge cluster lights. All four vehicles from the 2010s era have this ugly looking light switch and I've always wanted to change it because it just blends in with the dash and it looks extremely, extremely tacky. Most Ford models being the Ford F-150 to the Ford GT in its earliest model. It's just, it does not look very, very well. And so I love the fact that you can go on Amazon and find covers for this light switch. And basically these covers aren't very expensive, maybe about 20 bucks. And you pretty much get an updated interior. It does look kind of tacky, but it blends in with the interior quite well. That's why I went with silver instead of going like red or blue or green. I stuck with more of a silver theme to kind of match with the original dash of the Mustang. The next thing that I updated was the defrosting door vents. I hated how cheaply they looked. Everything kind of just blends in and looks extremely cheap. And so what I did was looked on Amazon for these vent covers and I found them for like maybe 15 bucks for a pair of two and just stuck them on there. And it really kind of classies up the vehicle on the inside a little bit more. The next thing that I updated on the interior was the center of the dash basically where the infotainment is personally I feel like there could have been a more of a unique design maybe a glass black finish in the middle they stuck with a more rugged black plastic and it just looked not very well so I added this silver trim piece here to kind of tie in with the rest of the dash and last but not least I updated the passenger side dash where the airbag kind of sits most of the Mustangs have this black plastic cladding that just looks very, very rugged and it does not feel very well. So I updated it with a silver trim piece that kind of ties in with the rest of the interior. There are a few upgrades with this black plastic piece as in like sticking a screen right there, but I really didn't want to do that mainly because it kind of looks tacky. It kind of looks more like rice and upgrading your motor and I really didn't want to spend that type of money on interior pieces. A few interior pieces that I still want to upgrade are the ugly looking door handles basically where the window switches are. I really hate this plastic. It's just extremely extremely ugly. They should have made it more like of a gloss black or at least a different color instead of it tying into everything. The same could be said about where the lock switches are and the memory settings are. It could have really used a piano gloss black finish and these door handles and door pieces pretty much carry on to the S650 Mustang which is pretty disappointing. Now the majority of the interior in the S550 carries over to the S650 including the seats and I really don't like the seats of the S550 either. Now they do look kind of sporty and in the higher trim Mustangs like the Shelby GT500 you can opt into Recaro seats and even in the newest S650s you can opt into Recaro seats as well. 
but I still don't really like the seating of the S550 Mustang and it's really starting to look a little bit outdated. For it to be carried on to the S650 kind of makes it disappointing. One thing that I almost forgot to mention is how I wanted the paddle shifter covers but the more I looked into it they are just so ugly looking and they are so big and it just does not look very well. I really didn't want to rice out the interior that much other than what I had done. So let's talk about what I might do whenever the warranty is over. What I might do with this car is stance it out, either put coilovers or airbags on the Mustang just to make it pop and make it stand out. I might throw some wheels on it. I might also do some tunes, some engine mods to kind of give it more speed because there have been some EcoBoost Mustangs that have really kept up with stock 5.0 S550s. So that is something that I want to accomplish with this car, but it will have to wait until the warranty is over. With that being said, guys, this will be the end of my video. If you happen to like this video or any of the content that I put out, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on what you think, and I'm out.